Trevor, we know that lately all the interviews are done via Zoom and it's, it's a new reality for people talking to a camera and it's different than in person. So what tips do you have for job seekers in order to be prepared, be ready to do the Zoom interviews? Well, first thing is control your space, right? You want to have a nice environment. And so go create an environment. Um, you know, you don't have to do anything elaborate, but, you know, your background is important. I, I think a natural background versus these virtual backgrounds. I, I like a natural um, background a lot better. It shows your environment and the employer wants to see your environment. They just want to know the real authentic you. And if you're giving them a beach, you know, as your background, a, a virtual one, that's not really going to do, do them justice as they are trying to get to know who you are. So go create a nice environment for yourself, a uh, nice, nice background and things like that. Um, the other thing I would recommend is practice, 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 practice. Right now, again, there's these job networking groups you can go plug in and do uh, virtual interviews with each other and, and, and get used to it and, and figure out what you're doing wrong. Are you stuttering? Are you not making eye contact? You know, like all those different things. Uh, record it like we're doing right now. Record it, play it back, watch it, practice. That's going to help you in the long run. And what about the lighting and camera and where to look in the camera? Yeah, so when you're looking at the camera, I mean, you want to look right dead square at that camera, right? Don't look at yourself because if I'm looking at myself <laughs> right now, I look like I'm looking off to the side. I want to look right into the lens, yes. okay? So that's one of the biggest mistakes I see people making all the time is they're looking at themselves. Don't do that. Um, as far as lighting goes, you want to have lighting right in front of you. Now, I, I'm actually doing a uh, disservice right now because I actually have a window uh, right here yeah. that is uh, bringing in a lot of light. So the light is actually coming on the side of my face right here. What you really want is the lighting behind the camera sh shining right in yes. front of you. Um, you can do those um, ring lights. Um, yeah. and put I have that one on your. Yeah. Yeah. You have one on right now. Yeah. You yeah. can do a ring light is something you can use. Uh, that'll make a big impact on your, on your videos. And, and do you encourage a job seeker to ask questions at the end of the interview? Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. And you need to be prepared with questions uh, and they want you to be prepared with questions. Uh, the interviewer does. So make sure you write down a good list of questions. You have to remember this is a two way street. And I would take the mindset, okay, what, what I call a $10 million mindset. If you had $10 million in the bank and you didn't have to work another day in your life, but you were working because you wanted to, mm -hmm. what would the questions be that you would ask that employer that would make you want to work for them, yes. right? Like, think about it. I don't have to work another day in my life. But if I'm going to go to an interview, I'm probably going to be very selective and I'm going to want to know a lot about that company before I spend one day with them, right? So go into it with that mindset, like you don't have to work. See, the, the problem is, is job seekers go into it on the other side where they have scarcity mindset where, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I need it, I need it, I need it. I need job. And in the sales world, they call that commission breath. Mm. Okay. If you've ever heard of commission breath, it's like, I need the sale, I need the sale, I need the sale. And they're going to sense that on the other end of that, uh, that interview. And it's very not attractive at all. Yeah. So make sure you go in there with the right mindset, uh, with an abundance mindset, like, yes. like you have more than enough and you don't need the job at all. Um, but you, you know, you have some certain questions that you want to ask them to figure out, do you want to work for that company? That's a good, those are great tips, Trevor. Thank you for sharing. And I'm sure my audience will benefit now that everything is done on Zoom. Thank you again. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of interviewing via Zoom, please leave a comment below. And tune in next time for another great question with Trevor.